everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great and thank you guys so much for all the love, all the support. You know, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for telling a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. So if you're not subscribed and if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications on. And you know what? Because this is the place to be. It's the best reaction channel, you know, right now. So listen. We're going to watch to part two uh, of, you know, when Dean Wango went to see, to visit Elijah's uh, family in Rwanda, you know, a boy who is who has been bullied all his life uh, because people, you know, tell him that he looked like a monkey and, you know, and this and that. And so, yeah, so let's see, you know, some genuine people going back to them and, you know, just showing them some love. And so... The title of this video is From Being a Curse to Being a Blessing. So it's an emotional surprise. So I, let's see what uh, Dim Wango has in store for all of us. So let's get straight into this video. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how happy he is. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh wow. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, look at how happy he is to see her again. I guess this is probably the first time people are going to see him and coming back to see him. So, of course, he remembers. And if you can see, you know, you know, he remembers people. He remembers things and appreciates genuine love. So, it's so nice to see. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he feels more comfortable around me. Oh. <laughs> the whole village is out to come and see, you know, Dimwango. You know, he's a blessing now. I mean, Elijah is a blessing, so they're out here just to witness uh, God's blessings, you know, for Elijah. Yes. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I came back to say hi to you again. Wow, guys, Elijah really likes me a lot. This is a blessing, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yo guys, if you haven't watched the reaction video to the first part of this video, make sure you go back and watch that one first and then you can watch this one. Good morning from wherever you're watching from. So it's really early morning. Mm -hmm. And I want to say welcome back to my channel. Thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. In case you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee Mwango. And please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Give the video a like and leave a comment. Let me get to know what you think. And the way she's rocking that short hair. I, I Oh my goodness. That would be so difficult for me to rock short hair. You know, but it looks nice, especially with her face and everything. So, yeah, really looks nice and easy. And again, guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you go to my Instagram. It's in my description below and join me on Instagram as well. So I'm really, really excited. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I really don't know how to thank you. Team D, you're the best audience. I always thank God for you people. And I always pray that may we keep winning together. So today, I'm really excited. And guys, from the video that I did, my previous video, if you haven't checked it out, please click on this video so, you can, so that you can get to understand what I'm, I'm saying. So you guys really joined up you know you people sent me lots of donations mm -hmm. and i just want to do exactly what you said so shout out to all my subscribers who donated uh, i really thank you so today we're going to yeah good job guys honestly that was a beautiful gesture you know just reaching out to d so she can bless the family elijah's home to gift them because the people asked me d go buy them food buy them this this that so i did exactly what you said so today again we are on our journey to the border of uh, rwanda and burundi okay. to visit them and give them some food and also somebody else sent me money a hundred dollars and he said d go buy food and share also with the other needy people in the society you know mm. elijah's neighbors so that's what i'm going to do so the Uber is right here already uh, okay, because we will not okay. make it on foot with all that we have. Oh, it's a nice neighborhood. It's a very nice uh, neighborhood. So we already parked, as you see. 
yeah, lots of things. You can see them clearly. But we bought, you know, lots of things. So, yeah, let's go there. Let's go do it. And it's such a blessing. And I always feel, you know, like life is all about sharing. And on my part, I just feel like Rwanda has been a major blessing because I've always been yearning to do this. People have helped me do this. And, man, may you all be blessed. So without much ado, because it's early morning and we need to go there in time and come back. So, yeah. Let's keep going. Let's start the journey. Right. Let's go. Hey, you guys, Rwanda is beautiful. It's so clean. And I think I say kudos to Rwanda because they came out of a genocide. You know, the war, I mean, the, the war really, you know, destroyed the country. And now the way Rwanda has come up and everybody's looking up to Rwanda as a as a model. Wow, I'm really, you know, I'm really impressed. And if you're from Rwanda, make sure you drop a comment below and let me know if you're from Rwanda. And if you're not from Rwanda, let me know in the comments below where you're from. Sisters, you know the, the lady with the pink top looks like Elijah's sister and um, Elijah's mom's sister. <laughs> well, saying Amakuru is like, how are you? Long yeah. time. Then yeah. are we doing fine? Yeah. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Now I wanna go to their home and gift them, bless them. Team D, you're the best. So yeah, this is how the village looks like. It's really amazing how villagers receive guests here with lots of love. You know, they come from all over. Some of them running from the other side. Oh my goodness, too much love. <laughs> so Team D, we're taking Elijah's uh, gifts, you know, to their home. Then the rest, as you say, they want to give back to the villagers, like the other community too. So yeah, let's get them. Yes, hello. <laughs> I really feel so humble because this is what I was called to do here in Rwanda and it's a major blessing. So, yeah, let's keep going. Yeah. So, guys, this, we know this is so beautiful to see. You know, just giving back to the community, just giving back to people, just, you know, um, leaving something, having a positive impact on them and having a positive, uh, changing their lives in the simplest way you can think about. It doesn't have to be something major. It doesn't have to be something extraordinary, but just those simple acts of kindness can go up. Uh, very very long way and that's why i love i love 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 this video now heading to eliza's home yeah with all that we got them this is really humbling and i'm so excited it's kind of you know you know i don't know how to say it but it's really humbling and it's really a pleasure tim d you're the best <laughs> at Elijah's home, as you see. I felt really important to bring the seats so that when, they, when visitors come, can have a seat. Elijah, hi. <laughs> hi. 
<laughs> so finally the guy is here and I'm really really excited to find to you know to have Stop using Zoom to record your podcast. There's a better way. Say hello to riverside.fm. To have met him once more. <laughs> How is everything? Wow. <laughs> like, leave me alone. Leave me alone. No, he's like, fine, fine. <laughs> Oh wow, he's he just warms my heart, Elijah. You're just warming my heart. <laughs> so guys, we bought them cooking oil, as you see right here, three mm-hmm. liters, and we bought some. I think this is sugar, five kg, and this is uh, rice, ten kgs, and we also bought some. Uh, I think this is uh, what is it? Oh, this is rice. Then mm-hmm. this is a maize flour, okay. and we also bought the seeds. And also, Joe came along with the iPad. That's really yeah. humbling. But we have some more yeah. to wow. give out to the whole community. Not really whole, but you just wanna see how it goes. Yeah. Team D, you're the best. Mm-hmm. So guys, for those who are totally new here, I'd like to give you the summary of the story concerning Elijah, this young guy, right here. So actually. Elijah is 22 years old, but he was born... Okay, with- there's a whole delegation there, right? Just um, documenting the, you know, Elijah's story. So, you know, I hope people will be genuine with this young man because he deserves a lot of, you know, genuine people around because I believe he's gone through so, 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 so much. And it will be a pity if, you know, people disappointed him again and his family again by taking advantage of them and his situation, his disability. He's a human being just like anybody else. He just needs to be treated with respect, dignity, and love, of course. Different. And the mother told me the other day when I was here, if you don't understand the story, kindly click on this video to understand. In that, yes. Make sure you also watch my reaction video to the previous uh, video from Dean Wango as well. Elijah, you know, Elijah's mother will get pregnant, but all the other kids could die, close to five of them. So she could just tell God, God, why can't you bless me even with a handicapped one so that we can stay together in the longest time? And actually, Elijah's an answered prayer. They got exactly what they asked for. But the neighbors and everyone didn't just accept Elijah as a normal human being. They bully him, they call him monkey, all those names. But nowadays, Elijah has turned to be a great blessing. Yeah, you know, so I felt because I'm in Rwanda, why not, why not? visit this home yeah. and maybe put a smile on them? Wow, well, guys, the whole and that's why you should never underestimate somebody or look down upon somebody. Never do it because today, you know, they are nothing in your eyes, but tomorrow there's somebody, um, you know, in the whole world's eyes. So never look down upon somebody, underestimate anybody, just respect everybody's uh, journey and everybody's you know um, way of being or yeah just respect them as they are take people exactly as they are don't try to change them village has come to witness so this has been really really humbling you know from being you know from being really unique to being a major blessing to the whole community Yo, if you're from Rwanda and you know what she's saying, let us know in the comments below and just translate everything for us. Thank you, guys. 
kuhudia ndeche nombi sehemu kwa muda njia zana mafaranga mkuu wa chishinzo wanda na yonda ikiene yeye imani ba huu mchezo tagawani je kandi aho mkuu yeye imani izawa kuvide karibu na ba shinye chane imaze yo imani I love the way Dimwango is just nodding like mm-hmm mm-hmm but I know she doesn't really understand but fortunately I think she has somebody who is uh you know translating everything so <laughs> so we're going to do the same we'll just assume that we know what you know she's talking about but I feel like it's from her heart it's the blessings and she's just thanking everybody for the love the support and you know and for you know for the gifts and so yeah so those are blessings upon Dimwango and yeah and all her supporters yeah so the mom Elijah's mom guys for those who are new here she's Elijah's mom and she's saying thank you so much team D you're the best thank you so much for the donations you made her smile and guys may God continue blessing you abundantly so thank you so much my subscribers you made the day for Elijah's mom and the family and also the neighborhood and she has said I'm a I'm a Murakoze thank you so much thank you so much okay Okay, so Murakoze, it's thank you so much in Rwandese, right? From being a curse to being a major blessing, not only to the family, but also to the whole neighborhood. And thank you so much for making this possible. So all the donations that you sent me, you know, by today, depending on the day when you're watching this video, we bought rice, sugar, mm. cooking oil, mm. cooking flour, salt, soap name them and for sure we really put a huge smile close to the whole uh, village or neighborhood they were really happy and all they were saying is you know now elijah is a major blessing to us everybody no. now loves him elijah has now turned to be a friend to everyone in the neighborhood which is really amazing and i guess from that guys we can also learn something from that you know you never know you know don't despise somebody because of his conditions more so what he can change things to do with you know how you look where to you know where to be born we never choose so let's always learn uh how to stay with people around us and let's make everybody comfortable around us and guys i know i've said this a hundred times but still i want to repeat by saying Team D, thank you so much for making this possible. Yeah, and and also, guys, I believe that when you empower a woman, because I can see all the people, the ladies are the ones who are getting the rice, the bars of the, you know, the the, the sugar and and all those things. When you empower a woman, hundred percent, it will go back to the family. She will in turn empower her children take them to school, you know, and so on. So when you empower a woman, you're most definitely empowering the society. So I believe it's quite um, a nice, um, it's symbolic, actually, when you see all these women, you know, just being there because they want to feed their children. They most definitely want to take their children to school and so on and so forth. So thank you so much, Dean Wango, and your fans as well, your supporters for making this possible. Neighborhood said, thank you. Murakoze. Murakoze is a Rwandese, a local language to mean thank you so much. Guys, I just want to say thank you so much for your support. Shimdi, you're the best. Eliza is happy then. Eliza, are you happy, bro? <laughs> Yeah, Team D, may God bless you abundantly. I don't know what I can say or what I can give back, but I want to say thank you so much. May God bless you for putting a smile to the whole village plus Eliza. He's here today with us again. So thank you so much, guys. I've said that a hundred times, but still I have to say that you guys. Team D, Team D, Ben, thank you so much and congratulations. I know my mom would have said that a hundred times also if she was here. So thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you have See you soon on my next video. If you'd like to donate even more, my paper link, my paper link is down below. And I wanna say more about it to me. Thank you so much. Ciao. <laughs> Thank you guys. Oh my goodness. So this one was um oh I, I, I loved it because you know this was a beautiful gesture, you know, for Elijah and his family and as a community as a large. 
And so when you're, you go from being a cost to a blessing, it's a true blessing. And so, and a big lesson, I guess, a big life lesson, because never underestimate, underestimate anybody, never look up down upon anybody because you never know what tomorrow holds. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe as well. Make sure you join me on Instagram. The link is in the description below. And so until next time, thank you guys and bye-bye, bye-bye. <laughs> bye. -bye. <laughs> bye.